for you! Welcome back, I'm Captain Xavier, and I am a shameless fan of getting free stuff. It's been a while since I got any free stuff. Or actually, it's been a while since I got around to reviewing the free stuff that I've been sent. Anyway, here are a couple of items that I have been sent, I believe, by NF Strike. Links will be in the description, so whoever sent it, the links will be down there. And what we have is the new extended worker magazines. They're not, I guess they're not actually particularly new. They're new to me. I hadn't gotten one yet. So, got one of those, and then the other item is a mask. A fancy, tactically, ballistic -y, nifty looking mask. And let's, what do we got? Well, we got a bag. So we got some screws. There's, there's the mask. Most of it anyway. Oh look, parts. Let's take a look at the parts. Lovely. Instructions. Hmm. Oh, there's the one I got. <laughs> that one looks pretty neat too. All right. Aha! There are bits. I thought there were more bits. There are some decorative bits. Or to make it look more fancy. Yes, yes. Okay. Decorative bits. And then we have what I assume are mounting systems. There's a screwdriver. Ah, I see. These, these actually screw in, it seems. And they give you a tiny screwdriver, which is super handy. Couple of washer headed screws to hold those bits in place. Man, a handy little screwdriver. Put it in your gear somewhere. Alright, looks like we've got two different harnesses. Yeah, yeah, we've got the, the style that uh, clips into a helmet. Uh, it doesn't have the hook that you would normally have up front to hook on the front of the helmet, and then you usually have these two things that hook and then clip into part of the rail system will have these kinds of fancy clips. Uh, I don't have a helmet that has one of those, actually. You'd think I would by now. I should get one of those. Anyway, we will go with the other one, which is just a regular suspension harness. That, oh, no, I got that backwards. This clips on here. Three straps on each side, two that link together there, and then one that comes in here lower. It is adjustable, so you can make it fit your melon. Uh, oh, look! Padding. Padding, which might as well install the padding, see if that makes it any better. Train! All right. All right, that went easily enough. Yeah, yeah, that is actually quite comfy. All right, well, let's go back to the uh, magazine for a second. I forgot to do the obvious thing and load it. I had darts, where'd they go? Aha! 20! So they hold 20 rounds, which I believe is like four or five more. It's like four more than this one probably would hold. I don't remember exactly. Um, the bottoms are exactly the same as the previous worker mags, which means things like. The, the mag poles will in fact clip on there, and I assume the mag extenders would probably work. You might have to replace the spring. I don't know if that follower spring uh, can handle the extended section. I may test that at some point, but 20 is a wonderful number, and they look just lovely. Smooth, shiny, says worker. Lovely. Okay, well. Obviously, the best way to test the mask that I was sent 
would be by shooting it with a blaster loaded using the mag they sent. So, I'm gonna do it. To the ranch! <laughs> right, how'd I look? Does it, does it compliment the beard? The beard. I think I look like a bug. Uh, yeah, then there's something got to fall out. What do you guys think? Only thing I wish, I wish it had mesh lenses instead of the plastic lenses because this is going to fog up and I won't be able to see anything. It's also a little small from my head. But then I got a big head. But it's comfortable. And I do, I do rather like the look. All right. Let's shoot it in the face. I'm gonna put it on a stand and shoot it in the face. All right, well, as I am testing a Talon magazine, it's only fitting that I use my Talon claw. This is my Silver Fox Industries Talon claw. They do gorgeous work. All right, can I hit anything? Oh, a little low. Yeah, a little high. Come on, the face. There we go, right in the eye. The beard caught the tart. Ah. Oh, right in the eye. Oh, there we go. Oh. <laughs> Got it dialed in now. Oh, round's complete. Where the dirt go? I want, to, I want to see if I can hit a bottle. I'm out of dirt! Or at least I've met him. I know that guy. Pretty sure I owe him money. Right. See if I can hit some bottles. Well, I can hit the stand and knock the bottles over. There we go, a hit. Getting any of these darts back. Uh, come on. Meow. Two more shots. I got him! And the face. Right in the chin. Right. Let's see if there was any damage. Back to the bench for the talking. <laughs> Train? Right. I managed to recover half of my ammunition. Really need to get the rest of the uh, nets and whatnot up in that range. Anyway, magazine worked beautifully, no problems, not a single jam or misload, anything like that. The mask has held up. I don't know, you probably can't see it on camera. Actually, maybe you can. You can see the smudges where the darts hit. Did not do any damage. The, uh, the frame doesn't seem to have come loose. Doesn't seem to be any damage to the thing itself. They actually did give you a little cloth for cleaning your smudgy fingerprints and dirt smudges off of the lenses. Which is lovely. Still wish it was mesh lenses just so it wouldn't fog up like they do, but obviously if this was going to be used for something like Airsoft, you wouldn't want mesh lenses, I understand, as they tend to babies will shatter and go through them, which is bad. But for Nerf, they're nice. Uh, I have no idea if this is rated for Airsoft. The plastic is fairly thick and flexible so it's not brittle. Uh, I have no idea what the lenses are rated for. That's obviously not the kind of information I'm likely to get. Well, maybe it says. The mask is made from TPR soft rubber. Oh, you can just adjust it apparently. So you can just stretch it. Because it's soft enough. Oh, what do you know? Um, I don't see anything about what it's rated for. I don't even know what rating system is used. Anyway, I, I don't know that I would trust it for Airsoft or anything uh, uh, more than Nerf, but I definitely would be perfectly okay with uh, allowing this or using this at uh, you know a stock or super stock Nerf event. I shot it with a talon claw at 15 feet and it uh, it's held up. So yeah, it's neat. Definitely need to get myself about a dozen of these. So. That's pretty cool. All right, I've run out of things to say. Thank you for sending me this stuff. 
The links will be in the description. And thank you guys for watching. few additional things about the magazine. It will fit in most Talon mag holders, I would imagine, because it doesn't actually start curving until about halfway down. So anything that was designed to hold a straight one will probably be able to hold this. I also have some magazine pouches I recently picked up that hold, uh, hold the magazines nicely. It's, it's a little, Getting a little bit tall for these ones, but there, as you can see, but I doubt even with just the one in it, it's going to fall out too easily. Maybe, maybe, I don't know. Definitely works well with these though, so that's cool.